Hello and welcome to Pop-Up Smart. In this video, we'll show you how to create a pop-up. First, you need to choose a layout. There are ready-made pop-up templates here, which are campaign-specific and fully customizable. Let's select this one. And we can select the pop-up type here. Some pop-up types, such as loading bar or sidebar pop-up, are less disturbing for the user experience. But let's choose light pop-up and select on screen position. If you want to add a success pop-up or teaser, you can click on Add Now, and you can customize them on the second step. Um, success pop-up is the pop-up that will be shown when a user fills in this form right here, and a teaser is the one, like a minute pop-up, uh, that will show our main pop-up once clicked on it. Let's, on to, let's go on to the customization step. And you can edit your main pop-up, success and teaser, by clicking on the tabs right here. And click on edit general appearance to uh, change the appearance of your pop-ups. You can change the background color. It's open effect and closing button, button color. Let's change the headline, for example. Yeah, we can change the font type, font weight, and alignment as well. And you can also add an image, change the image right here. If you want to add a privacy policy confirmation text right here down below the subscribe button, you can change it from here. And if you don't want it, you can turn it off from this toggle. Also the same for the checkbox. Having a clear and transparent privacy policy important to, uh, to build a trust relationship between you and your customers. You can also add a new form field from here. Let's go on to targeting stuff. Here with schedule, you can create a time limited campaign. Let's select the audience targeting option from here, such as operating system. If I select Windows and Mac, I will target users only um, using Windows and Mac. Only they will see our pop-up. And for the visitor behavior targeting, let's select after scroll. If I enter a scroll person right here, such as 20, um, then a visitor scrolls 20% of my web page, uh, my pop-up will show up. You can also set the visitor device type and adjust your pop-up according to it. And go on to publish step once you're done. Click on the embed code right here and it will copy it to your clipboard. You need to paste it just before the closing by the tag of your website template file. And don't forget to set the status of your pop-up on. And let's look at how our pop-up looks on our website. I'm scrolling. Here is our teaser pop-up and I'm clicking on it. That's our main pop-up. And if I fill in the form field here and subscribe, then our success pop-up will show up. That's it.